Hi guys, how are you today? Time to talk housewives. Now we got a lot to talk about today. First, we're going to talk about Karen Huger's bachelorette party, who was there and who wasn't there. And then we're going to talk about Kenya Moore coming for Drew yesterday on Twitter. Okay, now let's get into this bachelorette party. Now I made a video yesterday saying, you know, Karen throw some kind of party. I don't know what it is, but I'm being told it's going down tonight and that there's it's going to be a lot of ce celebs there. And, you know, I wanted to know what was going on it, because the rumor on the street it was that it was a bachelorette party. And I was like, why would she have a bachelorette party? She's been married to Ray for over 20 years. That makes no sense. Maybe it's something else. And I asked you guys, I was like, this doesn't make sense. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Can you guys, if you find out what's going on, please let me know. Remember, I said, if you have to email me, call me, send a telegram. You know, if you got to get Paul Revere to bring the information on his horse, get it to me any way that you can. You guys came through. You guys came through. Unbelievable. Love my subscribers. Okay, so yes, it was a bachelorette party. I didn't think this, that they would have one, but you know, he, Ray asked Karen to marry him at the last season's reunion. And I guess he's coming through with it. He's coming through. So let's get into the details of this party. I heard it was spectacular. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that. Uh, it was beautifully decorated. Uh, the menu was outstanding. They, someone even sent me a picture of the damn menu. <laughs> And it looks like there was no spared expense for the menu. It was a four course meal. It started with salad. Then they had a choice of filet mignon, uh, salmon, ch roasted chicken. And then it went on to cream corn and garlic, um, garlic mashed potatoes, cream spinach. And then dessert was a choice of cheesecake or ice cream or sherbet. I mean, doesn't this sound like it's straight up Karen Huger, the grand dame style? Now, it looks like this bachelorette party was over-the-top fun, something that I would love to go to. Anybody, what, who wouldn't want to go to an over-the-top, fun-as-hell bachelorette party? Nobody would turn down that kind of invitation. So I'm looking at these pictures, and these women are partying, having a ball, and I'm noticing, where the hell is Giselle? <laughs> Why isn't Giselle having fun? Why isn't Giselle's hands up in the air? I'm being told she was not invited, people. Not only was she not invited, she's going to also stir up trouble this season with with uh, Karen. And this is why she wasn't invited. Now, I thought we were safe. She was only going to mess with uh, Wendy, but no such luck. I'm being told this season, Giselle's going to continue to give Karen a hard time. And it looks like Karen is going to continue to not give a damn. She had her party. She looks fabulous. Does she look like she's worried about Giselle? No. And we got to give credit where credit is due. Karen looks amazing. Okay. I mean, first I used to say, oh, she looks nice for her age. No, 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 no. Any age at this point. I mean, she knows how to pull a look together. She is rocking this leopard outfit. She, she looks so good. I mean, you got to give credit where credit's due. Now, what else did you guys tell me about this bachelorette party? Okay, so it's confirmed that Giselle wasn't there. And I'm going to assume whenever Giselle doesn't go somewhere, then Robin doesn't go because, you know, they're attached at the hip. But who was there was Bershawn Shaw from the Real Housewives of New York. She was there and she looks really pretty in pink. And you know who else was there? Kendall Sherman's ex. Now, you guys remember, not last season, but the season before when uh, Giselle was dating Sherman and... Kendall was like kind of ticked about it because she said they were friends. According to Giselle, they weren't friends. But whenever Kendall would try to talk to her about it, Giselle would run off. She made the list. She was at the bachelorette party, but not Giselle. Mm, is there trouble brewing or am I starting trouble yet again, people? What else I find f fascinating is they had people there that they asked to be housewives. OK, these are women that they say, will you come be on the show? The women haven't responded yet. Why are they at the party? Is someone on the outs? What is going on? Are they all good friends and they just decided to show up? There's a girl that they're really looking at. Her name is Pamela. Uh, they really want her on the show. Another girl, her name is Ariane. They really want her on the show. And there's a girl named uh, Vivian that they asked in the past to be on the show. 
Is it that these women just run in circles or should somebody be worried? Okay, I'm not trying to be messy. It's just a question. Okay, pipe down. It's just a question. Now, I'm being told that overall that this bachelorette party was a blast, that everyone have fun. And that's really good because Karen deserves it. I love her and Ray. The actual wedding is supposed to be uh, Saturday and... Um, is leaking out that the uh, person performing is Macy Gray. Do you guys m remember Macy Gray? She is f a phenomenal singer. I think I try to say goodbye and that song. You know, I can't sing. I can't even hum people. But Macy Gray is an excellent choice. As I was saying, Ray and um, Karen both deserve it. They've been married a long time. And I just like these two together. They really center the show and just make it grounded and, you know, not so catty all the time so these two i really like so congratulations karen on your upcoming wedding now let's move on to kenya moore now this next story comes from urban bell it's a crazy one because if you've seen the reunion on sunday kenya keeps dragging the hell out of drew okay they just don't like each other for whatever the reason it is it seems like drew became team portia and latoya became team kenya and they are battling it out it is what it is okay but uh kenya wasn't liking her at the reunion and i thought oh poor drew you know just ride it out you know that's how kenya is if you get on kenya's bad side like i don't want to be on kenya's bad side she knows how to read like no other okay and there, most of the time there's nothing you can do about it because it Either you have to be an equally savvy reader to compete or you just have to throw up your hands and say, just let this be over with. Make it quick. Make it quick, Kenya. And so that's what I was telling you through the TV. Like, throw up your hands. Surrender. You know, you are on her shit list. Surrender. Sur surrender. She, I guess she didn't catch the memo. She kept trying to defend herself and talk through shade at Kenya. It just wasn't working. Well, I thought, well, at least that's over with. Ah, uh, hello. Uh, false alarm, people. No. Yesterday, Kenya goes on social media. It's, it's kind of funny because, I mean, it's like, if I feel like there's nothing Drew can do to defend herself at this point. And we all know that uh, they brought all the women back, which means Drew. So she's going to go for a part two on the upcoming season. But this is what Kenya said on uh, social media. Drew needed a husband to buy her first house at 35. Meanwhile, I've owned multiple from 26 years old and purchased with cash. Check those receipts. <laughs> Kenya, <laughs> stop. Kenya, leave her alone. Leave Drew alone. You are bullying her. Okay, leave her alone. We all know that Kenya has, has had made her own money. And I did a biography, which is in my... Um, collection of videos i'll put the link down on kenya moore kenya moore really has been making money since she was a teenager when she entered these beauty pageants she's really a self-made millionaire but we don't need you to drag drew for it okay this is shade on the highest level of shade now kenya was responding to drew's comment that she had made over 400 million or something like that as an actress and we all know that's a damn lie <laughs> I'm trying to ride with you, Drew. I'm trying to protect you from Kenya. But you can't go around telling crazy lies like that. You, you probably made zero off of acting. You don't have a stellar career. It is what it is. Maybe you were just caught up in the heat of the moment. And, you know, and when you get frustrated, lies fly out of your mouth. I don't know what made you say that. But this is what sparked Kenya's response. And then Drew retaliated by saying, Kenya has to do everything alone because she has no choice. <laughs> Hashtag boss B. Or hashtag lonely be. Now listen, I really I wish I could call Drew on the phone and say, Drew, stop, stop, stop. You are falling into Ken Kenya's trap. You're going to be her target all season long. She's not going to let you up for air. And really, don't go after the husband. Because that's personal and she's going to get low and dirty with it. She's going to go low, low, low. I understand, Drew, that you're, you need to stand up for yourself. But this ain't it. This is not it. What I suggest you do is on the off season, go ahead and take a couple of read classes. You got to learn how to read a bee, okay? If you want to be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, if you do anything else like these weak comebacks that you're putting out here all season, it's not going to work. It's going to make the, the public look at you sideways like, why is she here? And you know it's no secret, okay? The public, they're not feeling you, okay? You only returned, in my opinion, because of your contract. They... Bravo would not ask you back. You had no storyline. You need to do better. So take this as a warning lesson. I got to get better at my reading game. And I got to get better on my storylines and, and my weight game. 
Okay. You don't want anybody coming after you for that on the upcoming season, because this season is a warning. Okay. We're not going to be feel sorry for you next season. If you haven't changed those three things. Okay. It is what it is. Don't get mad. Okay. It is what it is. I'm just warning you. Okay. Now we got a lot to talk about today down in the comment section. One, I want to know, what did you guys think of the bachelorette party? Wasn't it beautifully decorated and didn't it look like a blast? And don't you guys think that Karen and Ray deserve it? And then number two, let's talk about this Kenya and uh, Drew thing. Don't you guys think that Drew should just throw in the towel? She's not a good reader. She's not going to be able to hang with Kenya. At least that's what I think. Let me know your thoughts. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. It does wonders for my video. If you haven't already subscribed and hit the notification bell, don't forget to do that. If you already hit the notification bell, go back and make sure that it's turned on. A lot of people are saying they're not getting their notifications every time I upload. So make sure you do that. In the meantime, I'll meet you guys down in the comment section. We got a lot to talk about today. Bye for now.